Next we'll show you how to print barcode labels with our software. Let's suppose that uh, for some of the products in your company you don't have barcode labels and you need to print them out yourself. So you can print barcode labels with our software by going to inventory, edit inventory and uh, pulling up one of those items. Let's say it's our KitKat bar that we added in one of the previous video tutorials. As soon as you pull up uh, the uh, product on the screen like this, the uh, button that will show up in addition will be print labels. I'm going to go ahead and click that one. Now uh, in this print label screen, if you don't see a barcode like this on your screen, uh, that, that will mean that your PC is not capable of um, generating barcodes yet because you don't have uh, the barcode font installed on your PC and in that case what you want to do is you want to go to this online help tab in here uh, in our software or uh, directly on our website uh, clicking the support tab will take you to the same exact place which is I'm gonna click it right now and that place is uh, the support page of our website and here it is and uh, I'm gonna click on the free support tab to get into the free support section then click on the knowledge base now once in the knowledge base you want to go to the FAQ frequently asked questions click on that tab and the article you want to read is this one called how to generate barcodes with my PC As soon as you click on that it will expand the article so you can read it it's not a very large article uh, just read it carefully and follow everything it says it will tell you how to obtain uh, a compatible barcode fonts for your PC compatible to our software and uh, as soon as you obtain them and it shows you how to obtain them for free by the way as soon as you obtain them and install them uh, to your PC then your PC will be capable of um, of generating such barcodes and of course printing those barcodes then and your screen will also look like ours right now where it shows you a generated uh, barcode in here now uh, as you can see this uh, a portion of the screen where I'm pointing to uh, shows how uh, the barcode label will look like roughly and a barcode label consists of uh, three sections the first one is this uh, the barcode and also showing the uh, item ID which is the barcode of course right below it then the second section is the description of the product and the third uh, section on the bottom is the price of the product that's what the label will have when you print it now you can uh, change and adjust some things in here let's say the size of the barcode font let's increase it to 10 then the size of the description font let's increase that to 10 too as you can see as I'm changing the size of the font it changes in here in this preview in here and let's say the size of the price font we make also 10 now the next thing you can choose or set up is the number of labels that you need for printing so this KitKat bar let's say we need four labels for it we're gonna just put four so it's gonna print out four labels for us and then uh, this next option vertical spacing between labels uh, to explain that one I need to jump ahead to printing format in here you have two printing formats you can choose from and that is one column of labels or full sheet labels now the one column of labels looks like this roughly uh, as shown on this little graphic which is uh, good for uh, narrow uh, printers kind of like a receipt printer mainly because many people use uh, special label printers and they uh, use narrow paper which is on a roll you know and uh, if that is the case then if you're using that kind of a, a label printer uh, then you definitely want to print the labels like this uh, stack on one on top of another so to speak vertically or a column of labels so then you would select this option and that's when this vertical spacing between labels comes into play and uh, the only time it uh, it makes any difference because um, once you print these labels if you're not happy with the spacing between them with the vertical spacing if they're too close to one another then you can just increase that you know you can add whatever you can type whatever number in here you need until you get your, to your desired result however if you choose full sheet of labels 
that looks like this roughly as shown in this graphic then this plays no role um, the full sheet of labels is for home or office type printers the printers that print on a sheet that's roughly eight and a half uh, by 11 inches standard in the USA or internationally is also known as uh, a4 format I believe and uh, what that does is it maximizes the space it has to print on an entire sheet and it just puts as many um, labels as possible now of course the natural question is well how do you choose the size of the label so you know the smaller labels can uh, fit more on a sheet more uh, rows and more columns of labels the uh, larger labels will give you less uh, labels on sheet less columns and less rows of them and then where and how do you uh, adjust you know the exact size of the label the vertical spacing between them the horizontal spacing between them margins on the side of the page all of that to take all of that hard work and guesswork from you and to make it perfect from the first time we uh, employ the what Microsoft Word uses for these kind of scenarios and uh, for printing labels which is the standards international standards for labels and uh, that is this option right here as soon as you select full sheet it pops up in here uh, by default Avery 5160 standard is chosen but you can choose between hundred of uh, hundreds of labels in here label standards we have the posted brand the 3M brand then scrolling down you'll see the Avery brand that's uh, the most the Avery is the most standards they have the most choices they have the Dymo brand the Office Depot and Staples brand so there's definitely hundreds to choose from we'll just stick to Avery 5160 for this example it's one of the most commonly used that's why we make it default in here but you can choose whatever you want now under the full sheet or the one column of labels you can have a situation where like if you go to the store and you buy your sheets of labels or paper with labels uh, you may have uh, you know uh, on that sheet you may have uh, used the first two let's say from a previous printing job right and that's where you end it so now you don't want to throw away the whole sheet you want to keep on using it so you want to start printing at the third position so if you need to start printing at the third position for your print job and not necessarily at the first then you use this option that says already used sheet start at position three in this case instead of one so it's going to start printing right there at position three so now if i go ahead and i hit print labels what this setting is going to do uh, for a full sheet is going to print the avery 5160 and it's going to adjust uh, using the Microsoft Word format it's going to adjust everything perfectly and lay everything perfectly down in Microsoft Word so to use these standards and these full sheets you need uh, Microsoft Word and our software just exports this or does a mail merge also known when a program uh, merges something to another program it does a merge into Word and it's going to put everything perfectly for you take out all the work and all the guesswork for you so as soon as I hit print labels that will export it to Microsoft Word and all you have to do is click print in there to print your labels but let's take it a step further well before we do that I just want to mention that if you were to choose the simpler method which is one column of labels for those uh, vertical sheets uh, narrow sheets then it just takes it right to the printer there's not much work and not much guesswork in there but these standards in here these Microsoft Word use standards require Microsoft Word and it will export it to Microsoft Word and then you hit print over there now uh, let's take it a step further and complicate it even more let's say you didn't only need to print the KitKat candy bar labels let's say you needed more products in here you just want to jam and create one big uh, print job all the labels that you need for all the products that you need all at once so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to select this option here add multiple products or items to this print job so as soon as you select that it expands your uh, window by a little bit it adds this addition to it in here which is basically a list of labels to be printed so now you need to designate a list and this list is empty now so it nullified you know our KitKat four of them right we selected four 
labels to be printed of the KitKat bar now. Since we selected this option, we need to populate this table as a printing job. So we need to add the KitKat in there too. So I'm going to go ahead and select the KitKat from the item IDs. And I'm going to say we need four again of that, right? Click add. It adds it to the print job list for KitKat labels. Let's say we'll do another one just to show you how this works. Seven up our seven up bottles. Let's say we need three of those three labels of those and you can keep on adding whatever you need so when you're done and satisfied with your list of your print job now if you hit print labels it's going to do exactly what I told you before because we uh, selected a full sheet Avery 5160 standard which is used in Microsoft Word so as soon as I hit print labels it will take us there and all we need to do is uh, hit print from there so now you're going to see how that looks like and here we are in Word right now, Microsoft Word. You can only see the portion of the screen that's uh, the sheet for printing. The top that you can see is the standard Microsoft Word. And somewhere up here is our print button. So as soon as we hit the print button, this is going to print. And as you can see, uh, we have exactly what we asked for. Position 1 and position 2 were skipped. We're starting printing from position 3. And we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4 KitKat bar. Uh, labels and one two three seven up bottle labels and as soon as you hit print from here it will print it out and that's how you do labels with our software